Hello Galactic Family. Oh my goodness. What a roller coaster ride. I am normally not a big crier. I am really good at sucking things up and being stoic. I randomly started crying Thursday morning and literally could not stop for a good couple of hours. There was just no avoiding it, whether I like it or not I was just going to feel the feelings. Then the next day I had a hard time even remembering what I was all worked up about that BTW is a sign that you really have released. We are having some powerful releases followed by integrating new energies. Common symptoms weepiness, mild nausea, sleeping like a log followed by not. Sleeping at. all, Being energized one day completely fatigued the next. Dry, gritty, burning eyes trouble seeing. Headaches neck issues. Sudden pockets of complete normalcy followed by another round of emotional crazy. Feeling like your dreams could actually come true and then feeling irrational fear about that. Good lord. In the midst of all of this, there is a definite feeling of being guided and there being magic in the air. Number signs and synchronicities abound, as do other signs such as feathers and animal totems. There are moments of absolutely clarity, and plenty of opportunities for us to practice what we know. What I do know about really fast roller coaster energies is the best way to get through them is to surrender and enjoy the ride. Remember, this is the one we all lined up for and couldn't wait to experience. Stay present, keep your sense of humor, throw your hands up in the air and scream if you need to. I'll take this over an endless feeling lull any day. Greetings, dear ones. How pleased we are to be in your presence at the beginning of this brand new and exciting year. We honor you for coming to anchor the energies of the group and, of course, when we say group we mean not only those who are in the room at this time, but also those who will be enjoying this transmission on your internet at a later time. These are glorious times, indeed. You have achieved so much on your planet. So much so, that you have stepped up onto a brand new golden platform to create and experience this year from. There is a marked energetic shifting into a much higher vibration from the energies of 2015 into the energies of 2016. This golden platform that you find yourselves on is incredibly significant because it is allowing you a brand new vantage point to create and navigate your lives from. You have been in a cycle of purging, of letting go, of releasing, many, many lifetimes worth of lower vibrating energies, of old belief systems, of wounds. You have been assisted by the planet that you live on. You have been assisted by outer planetary influences, as well as having the active assistance of your guides and highest self. You have been hit with wave after wave of transformative energy, leaving you lighter and lighter, and leaving you with space to fill now that you have purged out so much. This is allowing you to stand on this brand new platform looking forward as never before. And we call 2016 the year of creation through inclusion and love. Allow that to sink in for a moment inclusion and love. Many of you have been conditioned to be on the lookout for what you do not want. You have been raised by people who have experienced lack and war, who have struggled to have enough and survive. Because of the harshness of their realities, they felt very disempowered and powerless and this put them on high alert for the next crisis. They were, through their conditioning and victim consciousness, unconscious creators, ever vigilant for the unwanted. As you began to evolve, and experiment with your role of creator, you created by contrast, by identifying what you no longer wanted to experience and deciding what you wished to exclude and release from your energy bodies in your lives. Contrast played a very important role, allowing people to get very clear on what they did not want and then, from that place, choose differently. 
creating through contrast can be quite uncomfortable. The experience of what you do not want by creating unconsciously can be painful, to say the least. Mass understanding of the law of attraction has done much to help people start to change their awareness, and from the many shifts and downloads that you have received, you have been becoming far more aware and far more conscious. Living through exclusion was very old 3D energy. This is what has been going on, on your planet for a very, very long time seeing yourself as separate from source, seeing others as separate from you, trying to navigate your life by avoiding what you did not want. And now here you are. You have stepped forward onto a platform that looks at things completely differently. You are all beautiful vessels ready to be filled and you are now choosing what you wish to include. You are choosing to navigate through inclusion and love, the great connector and the great amplifier. You will no longer need to navigate through deep discomfort. You will not need to create huge crisis in your life to get your attention. If you are creating consciously, your focus will shift from what you want to let go of to what you wish to fill yourself up with. You are far more empowered when you start to create by what you wish to experience. Feel the energetic shift as you feel into what it is like to now navigate through inclusion and love. When you make the shift from exclusion to inclusion you are making the quantum shift from separation consciousness to unity consciousness. Do you see? Evolving beyond exclusion means you no longer feel the need to protect yourself from other people's energies. It means that you simply hold your light, your alignment, your preferred energy wherever you go. You set the energetic tone. In other words, you embody your preferred energy in an empowered way, rather than powerlessly being affected by whatever energies you may be exposed to. It is allowing you to accept others for who they are. You are including them, you are loving them, because you are able, through this new energetic platform, to recognize their divinity and mastery, and honor that they are exactly where they need to be. Of course, people are at different stages of their journey, but for those of you who have been diligently doing your work, who have worked hard to move into awareness, you are ready to navigate in this new empowered way. This does not mean that you will throw your heads in the sand and ignore what is wrong on your planet but you will no longer try to engage with what is wrong by pushing against it. You have learned that that is not a good use of your focus and will only keep you further engaged in what you do not wish to experience. You will simply know that the best use of your energy is to embody what is desired, and that is being of your highest service. You will create through awareness and consciously choosing the energies that you wish to include in your life expression. It is embodying your choice because it is in alignment with your truth. We will tell you that no conscious human being on the planet would choose war. Conscious human beings include and honor each other and choose peace. The fact that you are now poised to see each other with love and acceptance and inclusion will pave the pathways for peace. Accepting and honoring others and embodying your truth will allow you to experience patience like never before. You will experience patience not by pushing against impatience, but by embracing the foundation of acceptance. It is acceptance that breeds peace and patience. More than that, you will be navigating with inclusion, acceptance and love for yourselves, as well. You will no longer be attempting to do service that serves everyone but yourself. You will see yourself as equally important, including yourself with your tender care, with your mindfulness, with your love, with your acceptance which will bring a beautiful balance to your life. You will start to truly see yourself as part of the greater whole, as a divine being, as an individuated aspect of source energy, and as such, an empowered creator. This will allow you to start to experience a far greater grace and ease than ever before. 
because of these deep energetic changes, you will see many people changing their service. First waivers who have been in active service through the first part of this grand shift on your planet will find their service changing, shifting to reflect where they are today. Many will shift into service that includes less doing and more being. You will see second waivers stepping fully into active service, into their divine practices, sharing their gifts, learning how to live in purpose and service in ways that now suit them. And some will leave the planet because as their service contracts come to an end, they decide they wish to go home, considering it a job well done, which is why you are seeing some of your beloved performers transitioning at this time. It is all a beautiful divine dance that is breathtaking to behold. Dear ones, there will always be shifting energies. You are on a planet of experience. You will have a myriad of experiences but the difference is from this new platform you are on, you will be able to see events with a deeper understanding, with acceptance, understanding purpose, looking at the bigger picture, and staying firmly on your path of inclusion and love. You will not get stuck pushing against what is unwanted any longer. If you fall into those old habits you will find it impossible to stay there for very long, for it will be far too uncomfortable. You will remember in record time that those energies are no longer supported and you will simply readjust. With your new level of self-love and awareness, you will remember that discomfort is not necessary in order to be consciously aware of what you prefer. You have had centuries of contrast, dear ones. Trust us when we say you know very well what you wish to create by now and you can access that inner truth whenever you like. What is now being supported is giving yourself permission to create through preference, which means finally becoming more comfortable with your divine capability to embody and create beauty, grace, ease, love, and joy. You are in a new space that supports you in consciously choosing a path of love, joy and connection. So get clear about what you wish to include as part of your life experience moving forward. Treat it like a beautiful buffet, filling your plates with what resonates what feels good to you, what sustains you, what you love, and what is a true expression of you. These are amazing times that you have created. You have been driving the shift that has allowed this to happen. You are glorious beings, magnificent human beings doing a wonderful job. You are so loved for all you do and for all you will continue to do. This is what we wish to share with you today. It has been our great pleasure.